please help me watch this episode of Talking with Famous People and tell me which is the real salty fish. Is it grouper, sardines, old, saro, soury, globe fish? There's a salmon. The, the, the ENFP has, this, has an interesting dynamic because whereas the ENTP, uh, you know, seconds with, uh, you know, their runner-up is TI, with, uh, in terms of the thinking function for the ENFP, it's actually TE, which is their tertiary. So that produces a very different dynamic. It's the epitome of compromise and appeasement. It's, yeah. it's exactly what it is. It's like, well, maybe I can, I can appease, compromise, TE, impact my way through this. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's right. Like, I can think of a specific example where uh, I, I still I feel guilty about it in general and. And realized that the ENFP was right, even though what he was saying was, I can't really win the argument with his half of the equation, <laughs> but, um, which is, uh, when we went to Indianapolis for a wedding, me and Rachel, uh, and after the wedding, you know, Rachel, I have issues with Rachel's brother in particular because of a variety of, of things that, you know, he did to Rachel and or involving me or whatever, uh, and so anyway, uh, after the wedding was over, I was live streaming this video about like basically what a hypocrite he was because he, he uh, yeah. he, he told me he had whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is the dad called me and basically said, stop doing this. And I said, fuck off. What were you just telling me to stop doing this? I'm just telling the truth and et cetera, et cetera. The point is after a lot of thinking about it, I've concluded that, um, I should have prioritized preserving more bridging opportunities with her family, even though really it's like, why is the onus on me to bend over backwards to be, to be extra yes. good rather than on them to be decent. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, uh, the of burdens there. But, is, but I get that my affirmative, my affirmative duty is sort of unlinked to that reality. I have a duty to be the best person I can be, and what would be the best person I could be in that context would probably have not, have not, you know, pounded my fist for justice. It, not because, yeah. it, and the thing is, Rachel doesn't necessarily even agree with me about this, but I think that's the difference between my FI absolute value and her uh, FI instrumental value. Yeah. And of course, I wasn't the one yeah. subject to all the injustice, so. You know, I'm more right. more willing to look look past it than she would be, I suppose. Goodbye and thanks for watching.